Fernando Alonso wants to see El Plan come together at Alpine, but more points are needed, and that means more car development, according to the Spaniard. And Mercedes give us some insight in how race day strategy planning is becoming even more difficult thanks to a rule change for 2022. I'm Ollie Wilson for GP fans. We're just a few hours away from action on track down under at Albert Park in Melbourne. And these are the headlines that you need to know in Formula One this Thursday. Mercedes trackside engineer Andrew Shovlin believes one of 2022's rule changes is making planning a race day strategy even more difficult than before. The rule Shovlin is referring to is the one that allows teams who finish in the top 10 of qualifying to change their starting tyre compound for race day, with cars that make it into Q3 on a Saturday, previously having to use the tyre set that they ran in Q2 to start Sunday's race. Not only has the rule change allowed drivers to run the softest compound across all three sessions on a Saturday qualifying, rather than teams perhaps trying to find enough pace on the medium tyres in Q2 to give themselves a better race strategy the following day, but the rule change has also made knowing the strategy of other constructors before race day almost impossible, with teams only knowing what rivals are running when the tyre blankets come off before racing begins. However, Shovlin also added that the rule change does mix up and provide more strategy variety across the grid. You might have someone that has qualified third or fourth on the grid who decides that they are not going to get into first position off the start, said the Mercedes man. But their odds are better served if they actually run a harder tyre and go for longer. So I think over time we will see a bit more variation and it also does create a slightly fairer picture for all the teams up and down the grid. Elsewhere, Fernando Alonso wants Alpine to up its car development at the start of this new season, with the Spanish driver feeling the team has not scored the points it deserves from the opening two races. Alpine are fourth in the Constructors' battle after two outings this season, with 16 points behind Mercedes, Red Bull and of course Ferrari. Unfortunately for both the team and Alonso, this points tally could have been even higher had the former world champion not been forced to retire in Saudi Arabia while driving in the points positions, a clear bump in the road that is El Plan. Saudi Arabia was a disappointment as we looked comfortable and set for sixth position until we had our retirement, said Alonso. It was frustrating, but we can be pleased with our overall pace so far. Sunday is where the points are scored, so we just need to make sure we score points then. The whole team is working hard to make sure we keep on top of our development. We had some fair and exciting racing in Saudi, and also in Bahrain. The Spaniard is, like everybody else, looking forward to getting to grips with the new look Albert Park in Melbourne this weekend with its added overtaking opportunities and we're hoping we see more scraps from Alonso with the likes of his teammate Esteban Ocon and George Russell that we saw in Saudi Arabia across this season and particularly this coming weekend down under. You can follow all of the action from Melbourne on gpfans.com and the live blog that we'll have there and of course on at gpfansglobal on Twitter and Instagram. And why not give us a subscribe while you're here at the YouTube channel too.